Hi, my name is Elsie with Something Elsie Food for Transformation, and today I would love to share with you a little glimpse into the retreat or transformational event experience that I offer with my chef services. So the first thing that goes into what I offer is planning. It's really important to me that the people I'm working with um, have a clear intention in mind of how they want their guests to feel at the retreat and what kind of experience they want to create for their guests, for the participants. Um, and so I, I like to know that first thing going in that really helps me get a clear idea of, of what I can offer and what I can bring um, to amplify that desired uh, experience, that desired intention. So really, I, I like cooking for all sorts of different kinds of events and experiences. Uh, what's really palatable What's really um, palpable for me is transformational experiences, or experiences where people go in knowing that they're going to learn some new tools, they're going to learn some new um, ideas, and, and, and they're going to be taught how to integrate and how to um, bring those into, into their lives. Um, and so anything around that, I'm so excited to create for. Um, and, and after I know that, it, it kind of just kind of snowballs. Uh, the next thing we do is generally I make a survey or, or find out a way to touch base with all the participants just to know if there's any dietary restrictions, any um, preferences, any allergies. That helps me really craft a, a good good experience for each person um, and what their specific needs might be. So that's part of it. And then going into the retreat itself, what's really important to me I've worked in all sorts of different spaces, so I have no problem adapting to a smaller kitchen or, you know, if we don't have a dishwasher, we'll make it work, um, as, as has been proven on the retreats I've worked on. But it's, uh, it's really important to me that the kitchen feels like home, that people can feel like they can come and go and talk and, and hang out, and that there's very much a space of community and uh, wholeheartedness in, in the kitchen space. So, yeah, I like to bring fresh-cut flowers. I'll set up... Um, like special tablecloths. My mom has made a bunch of different napkins that I'll, I'll bring um, for this retreat, especially for them. And yeah, on top of that, it's it's just the, the energy that I get to bring when I am in a space of, of transformation. Um, I've taught yoga for about five years, so I really consider the, the transformational space really sacred and really, um, really important to you know, create a space where people feel safe and supported and taken care of. So I bring all of that into play when I cook and retreats. Um, but that's enough for me. I have a couple of clips from one of the last retreats I did in LA, LA Connection Dance Retreat, uh, shot by Michelle Cross. The um, images you're about to see are, are shot by the amazing Michelle Cross, which I will uh, tag in this post. So thanks for checking it out. I'll, I'll let the video take it away and I hope to see you tomorrow and Friday for a few more offerings. Thanks. The money I paid for this retreat is peanuts compared to the experience you were able to get with all of the wonderful people. The food was phenomenal. I have had vegetarian things that I did not know could taste that good. It's been money well spent. I'm so like touched and moved by the, the people who, who showed up on this retreat. Um, I feel like I'm really contributing to a greater cause and a greater good. I can feel the love and the energy moving through this whole weekend um, as such like a powerful, um, powerful movement, powerful vibration, and I'm just so grateful that I get to witness it and I get to help support all of that because the transformation and, and the experience is so, so, important to me and I, and I really feel it and, and everyone who came out is so uh, so open to it and just really really invested in exploring and I love that.